let's look at tax accounting principles. Accounting principles refers to those guidelines that are followed when preparing financial data or financial information. Yeah. In charging tax, accounting information forms a basis for determining the taxpayer's liability. However, it should be observed that some accounting treatments are adjusted to fit the tax requirements. Yeah, some of these specific accounting treatments are what we are going to explain here. Yeah. The first tax accounting principle we are going to look at is the method of accounting. The method of accounting used by the taxpayer is important. Yeah. The method of accounting used by the taxpayer should conform to the generally accepted accounting principles. And the taxpayer is required to account for tax purposes either on a cash basis or accrual basis unless they, they have the permission from the commissioner to do other other ways that is supposed to be in two ways either either on a cash basis or an accrual basis but in situations where the taxpayer may wish to change his method of accounting he or she is required to apply in writing to the commissioner yeah and thus and the application is subject to approval by a notes in writing from the commissioner they write for you to permit you to change the method of accounting yeah but it's supposed to be either a cash basis or a cruel basis yeah so a cash basis taxpayer is a taxpayer who accounts for tax purposes on a cash basis like to such a taxpayer income is derived when it is received or made available and incurs an expenditure when it is paid they they consider an expenditure as incurred after paying it if they if they stay if they stay in in a house if they have not yet paid rent they do not consider it as an expenditure so they consider it as an expenditure after paying rent for that month it is when it is considered an expenditure they they consider an expen they consider an expenditure after paying it and they consider something as income after receiving the money if they sell on credit they they do not consider it as an as an income until when the money is received by the company or the organization and that is a cash basis tax payer then we have the accrual basis taxpayer it refers to a taxpayer who accounts for tax purposes on an accrual basis. So the accrual is the opposite of the tax of the cash basis taxpayer. And to such a taxpayer, income is derived when it is receivable by the taxpayer and incurs an expenditure when it is payable. Like even when they sell on credit, they consider it as an income. Yeah, if, even when it is receivable, they consider it as an income without receiving the money itself. Yeah, if they sell on credit, they consider it as an income. If they stay in a house without paying the rent for that particular month, they consider it as an expenditure already, which is not the same thing with the cash basis taxpayer. Then another tax accounting principle, they consider prepayments and then accruals. Prepayments are those things like you pay for the future, you pay before incurring. Then accruals, you incur before paying. Yeah. Then another one we have is long-term contracts. Long-term contracts, it refers to a contract that takes a long period of time to be ready. It can be a contract for manufacturing, installation, construction. And for long-term contracts, they look at things like the revenue of the contract, then the costs incurred, and then the profits that has been derived from the contract. Yeah, then they use them for tax, tax purposes. Yeah, then another one we have is trading stock. Trading stock, we mainly deal with closing stock. Yeah, when we are dealing with tax things, we deal with closing stock. Opening stock is not 
relevant for tax purposes. And the last one is the foreign currency debts, debt gains and losses. If there is a foreign currency gain, they are taxed. And if there are losses on foreign currency debt, they are not taxed. Yes, so those are the tax accounting principles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. This has been the end of topic one. In the next video, we shall be starting with topic two, income tax.